welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first really serious makeup basket of the year. January is over which means playtime is over and it is really time for me to start getting more focused on my painting projects and um, really um, just generally narrow the focus to try to start making some serious progress. That is how I like to pan, um, so I guess uh, I guess it's time to uh, quit playing, start getting serious about panning. All right, let us let's get into this basket. But before I start that, um, I did want to share with you something that I just recently got in PR, and um, it's kind of relevant to the basket because it is kind of like a travel basket, if you will. I was sent this like travel makeup case, toiletry case from I'm Blue, and um, I really kind of like this. It, it took a little bit to get here because um, I don't know, I don't know why, to be quite honest with you, but it, it took a little bit longer than I expected to get here, about two weeks, and um, I think it was worth the wait. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. The outside is definitely like kind of like a soft plastic that I think would be easy to wipe down if you got any spills on it. The inside, the inside is what is really cool. It has this flap right here with a hook. So if you're traveling, you can kind of hang that up on like a hook, shower curtain, something like that, shower curtain rod. And it has little zipper here and it's got plastic in here if I could open it up so you could put anything in here this is kind of like a mesh it's got this big pocket here and then two smaller pockets down here this is what I really really like <clears throat> this side has a small you could almost use this as a cosmetic bag and it actually detaches, which I think is cool as I'm trying to like rip it apart. That would be a nice small cosmetic bag, which is really cool. Or if you're like me, you need a bigger one. You have this one right here <clears throat> and it also detaches. So if you were to detach these and travel with like this open space you could get a lot more stuff in here and um, yeah I think that's pretty daggone cool with its plastic you can see exactly what's in it or like clear plastic and um, easy to clean up as opposed to something that has like cloth <clears throat> pardon me and um, yeah I think that's really daggone cool I am going to leave a link to this travel case down below. It is not an affiliate link. Um, I'm just doing it as a courtesy if anyone is interested in something like this. And it's a courtesy to the brand that sent it to me. I'm blue. And um, yeah, that is it. Now let's get into the basket because that is why y'all are here. But I just, I had to share that. So if anyone's traveling and you're interested in something like that, <clears throat> check out the link below. <clears throat> Pardon me. I got my mint tea here. I this throat. Oh, I love mint tea. All right, primer. You ready for a change? I know I am. I am finally going to be working on my Catrice Prime and Fine. This is the Keep Me Matte. I'm so excited to be working on this one. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, you, you know what that means. Anyone that's been following my baskets, you know what that means. So for my foundation, I am going to work for the second week in a row on the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation in beige. Yeah, it's I like the formula. I really do like the formula. It's just not the right color. Um, concealer, I'm going to be working on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in, I think it's light to medium. Yeah, light, medium, beige. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have two powders. I'm going to continue to work on my Color Max 
photochromatic powder in 04 beige. I'm liking this one. And I'm also going to be working on the Tinted Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. I've actually been using this as a bronzer almost. It's, it's, way, it's way too much to put all over my face. But it is working nicely as a bronzer. Which is, it's kind of crazy. It's Tinted Mineral Veil. I should not be able to use that as a bronzer. But what you going to do? Speaking of bronzers, I have my Franken Blush and Franken Bronzer in here. These are the only, <clears throat> pardon me, these are the only um, blush and bronzers that I have in this week, unless you count my Tinted Mineral Veil. <clears throat> For highlighter, I only have in the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette. You can see this is a much more scaled down version of my basket. Just wait till we get to the eyeshadow. You want to see scaled down? For me, it is incredibly scaled down. All right, let's start with the brows because that's what I work on first. Um, I have the Tame side from e.l.f. And I have the Bare Minerals Dark Blonde Medium Brown. This is probably going to just stay in my basket for a while. Um, I just want to get that one done. I've had it for a very long time. A very, very long time. Speaking of Bare Minerals, um, this is the Primetime Eye Primer. It is brand spanking new and I've been dying to work on it. This is one of my favorite primers and I've had it forever and I just need to use it. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> I don't I don't know if it's a change in the weather, but I, I just I'm a mess here. I really need to uh, I need to have my surgery done. Um all right, moving on to the rest of the eyes. Eyeliners. I have technically four, which seems like a lot, but two of them are just for the waterline. It is Crossed and Electric Daisy from ColourPop. I only use these on my waterline. Um, this one is the Mally Onyx. That is what I'm going to be focused on all week to use like on my um, upper lash line and the Starlux Gem Pencil and Ultra Olive. I can use this as like an inner corner or um, I can use it on my eyelids as a base to kind of give like a shimmery pop. So even though there's four eyeliners in, I kind of use them in different ways so I can use them in conjunction with one another and I can get some good progress on multiples. All right. Mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess. It's still kicking. It, it amazes me how much product is in this little guy. Um, this is the False Lash Effect. I am hoping, hoping that it will be done soon because I have so many other mascaras to get through. All right. For eyeshadows. Yes. Back again, the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I hardly used this in the past week. I think I only used it twice, which is kind of sad because it's a gorgeous palette, but I've just been focused on my other stuff. So, you know, Battleship is going to be suffering, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, my Magnetic palette, I'm doing a much smaller one this week. Um, all right, here, let me show you what we've got. Right here is, this is the Jane Iredale Concealer. Smashbox Duo. This is the Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful Fabulous. Fire Glow from Coastal Scents. This is Toasted Almond from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. Bare Minerals Lime. Winterveld from Coastal Scents. Too Faced Rock and Roll Palette. I think this is New Age. Both of these are from the Sephora Colorista Palette. Very minimal very very minimal and um yeah that means i'm gonna really focus on those eyeshadows that's it for eyeshadow which is kind of crazy for me but i really want to start getting some progress this year trying to get 100 eyeshadows done i really have to stay focused i enjoyed my january but i have to stay focused all right this is kind of like the miscellaneous product it's technically a lip product um, I don't use it on my lips. I use it as an eye topper 
This is the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects in Regulate. And um, I've heard a lot of people say don't use it on your lips because it kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I like it on my eyes. You have to actually keep your eyes closed for a while and really let it dry. Otherwise, it will crease on you. But if you keep your eyes closed for a few minutes, fan a little bit, let it dry down. It actually um, it looks pretty cool. All right, getting on to the lip products. Changing up my lip balm this week, and my camera's threatening to overheat. I'm going to be working on the Lip Sill Lip Balm this week. This is the Intense Protection, and this one is kind of like peppermint. Someone said that they used orange. I haven't, I haven't been able to find it, so I'm going to look for that because I really like the Lip Sill products. Um, the lip liner I'm going to use this week, actually I have two of them. This is the e.l.f. in Nude Pink, I believe. Yes, Nude Pink. That one I am hoping to have done this week. Um, also, Buxom Scandalous. I have the Bite Beauty Glossé. And I have two Buxom Glosses. This one is in Sangria. And the pink that I almost dropped is in April. So, those are my products for this week. And as far as what I think I can finish... Definitely the lip pencil. I'm not sure that I can finish anything else because in, unless the mascara dies on me, I think the lip pencil is the only thing that I'm going to finish this week. But that's okay because I'm going to make some fabulous progress on these things. And um, yeah, it's going to make the year a little bit easier because I'm really starting to buckle down on this stuff and, uh, and I want to get her done. So um, what do you have in your basket this week or this month, or what product are you working hard on to really focus and get done and get it out of your collection? That is the question of the day. Leave that down in the comments, and I think that is it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.